In the wake of botched executions in other states and a shortage of drugs used for lethal injection, Utah has brought back the firing squad. Lethal injection has been by far the most common form of execution since the Supreme Court reinstated the death penalty in 1976 after a four-year moratorium. Since that time, about 1,400 inmates have been put to death by lethal injection. That's 87% of all executions in the U.S. during that period. But a shortage of one of the most effective drugs has forced changes to the lethal injection protocol, leading to a number of botched executions in recent years. In response, states have begun seeking alternatives. Oklahoma is looking into methods of oxygen deprivation, while Tennessee is considering bringing back the electric chair. And now, Utah's governor has just signed a law that will reinstate firing squads as an option for condemned inmates. Only three people in the U.S. have been killed by firing squads since 1976, and all were in Utah. Firing squads were banned there in 2004, but prisoners sentenced prior to then could still opt for the firing squad over lethal injection. The last man executed by firing squad was Ronnie Lee Gardner in 2010. Despite recent controversy, lethal injection remains the primary means of execution in the 32 states where capital punishment is legal. 16 states have secondary means of killing available, including the gallows and electric chair, though these alternative methods are rarely used. The last electrocution was done in Virginia in 2013, the last hanging was done in Delaware in 1996, and the last death in the gas chamber was carried out in Arizona in 1999.